it's all kind of a shocking thing. Somebody actually sent me a video of uh, Jacob Prash um, supposedly debunking or attacking James White. And it was kind of like, you know, the kettle calling the pot black, you know. <laughs> I mean, they're both, you know, new version, you know, wing nuts and stuff. Whatever. But, uh, you know, they sent me this video and I'm like, you know, I watched a couple minutes. I can't stomach much of those guys. It always reminds me of watching the Pope or some Catholic priest talking, you know, just to, the just the Holy Spirit's not speaking through them. But I'm, I'm watching this thing and I'm looking, I'm like, that James White's got a tattoo on his arm. I'll show you a picture of it here. And I'm like, okay, you know, and because I, I, you know, I saw the Jacob Prash thing and then I saw he, you know, I went to James White's video just to make sure and I'm like, He's got a tattoo on his arm. I thought, well, okay, you know, I know lost people and they, they, you know, they get tattoos. And I, I did a video recently on that and they, they come out and they, you know, oh man, I got it. I had this tattoo from back in my lost years and stuff. You know, Lord's not going to judge you for that. You're not going to go to hell. You're, you haven't committed the unpardonable sin or something because you have a tattoo. But, um, I thought, I wonder how long he's had that tattoo. So I looked at some of his older videos and here's a picture, a screenshot um, of an older video. Now, maybe I'm wrong, but it doesn't look to me like he has a tattoo in that picture. And I'm thinking to myself, wait a second here. I mean, you got this older guy here. I don't know how old he is, you know, whatever, but scrawny little guy that he is and whatever. And, and, you know, and he's like, got a tattoo. And I'm going, it looks like he got the tattoo recently. And I'm thinking to myself, you know, he's supposed to be some kind of a Bible scholar and he gets a tattoo, you know? I mean, what kind of carnal, you think you're a teenager or something? It kind of reminds me of an old, you see these old women and they wear like the hip hugger pants and they're like, you know, trying to look like young and hot or something, you know? And it's just like, you know, act your age, you know? <laughs> it's weird, weird. Why would some guy that's supposedly some kind of Bible scholar get a tattoo on his arm? Very strange, you know, and I mean, I, I had a talk with a friend of mine years ago about this and he's like, is it just me or, or is the number of people with tattoos increasing? I mean, it used to be back when I was a kid, you know, you'd, you'd see people and they'd have like a tattoo up here or something, some guys in the military or whatever else, or maybe something on his forearm. Now it's just like you get people, they got tattoos, look like they have a sleeve on when they're wearing a muscle shirt and they got them up their neck and on their face and all kinds of stuff. Why is that? Well, because my Bible says that uh, in Revelation chapter 20 that there's going to be a mark upon the forehead. I do believe Revelation 13 teaches that there's a mark in the hand or in the forehead. I do believe implantable microchips have something to do with it. But there's also a mark upon the forehead. So people are going to have to get rid of that aversion to multiple tattoos. So my question is, why would the Holy Spirit lead somebody who's older, or anybody that's saved, to get a tattoo on their arm? And I mean, James White, the problems with him are so legion. I mean, it's just, where do you even begin? But it's just like this, okay, this is a really, really weird thing. And maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he had it, for, you know, and, and somebody said, well, you know, your pictures are, but it looks to me like he just got the thing recently. And then he's on this other, this uh, was apolog Apologia or something like this. I'll put up a screenshot of this. And, you know, he's sitting around these guys, you know, this pastor, this young guy, and he's got tattoos all over the place. He's not even trying to hide it, you know, other guys sitting there and he's got piercings and they got the trachea there, you know, the witch's trinity and stuff. And I'm just going like, okay, you know, um, where's the Holy Spirit discernment here? Kind of like, you know, we're not to conform to the world. Romans chapter 12, you know. <laughs> okay. So I just thought I'd bring that out just as a, you know... I don't understand how people can follow this guy and take him seriously. But I guess, you know, if you're looking for somebody, I mean, you know, my experience with most of James White's followers is these people are looking for someone to give them the answers to get rid of the final authority of the King James Bible. You know, somebody that can, can take away that scary thought of there's actually a book on this planet that's God's perfect written word that you can't judge and you can't change and see they don't like that thought so they get they look for some uh, scholar to come out and say um, actually there's a problem here and there's a problem there and what about this and what about that and stuff and and then they use this little mind control tactic James White will get all excited about that um, they use this little mind control tactic of 
laughing at you. If you actually believe the King James Bible, you know, they're the Orthodox Christians with their tattoos and their new versions that come from the Vatican. But King James Bible believers that say, you know what, this body belongs to God. I'm not going to mark it up with worldly tattoos and piercings and Lord only knows what else. I'm the weirdo. I'm the cult member. But they're the normal one. <laughs> right. Yeah, sure. Okay. You're a fool if you follow James White. All right. An absolute total fool. And I have a cause, by the way, for calling you a fool. So, just thought that was really, really weird. But uh, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. <laughs>